Hi, I'm Rich Close, and today's iPhone tutorial is going to continue with the general overview for the Apple Watch settings. More importantly, how seniors can potentially benefit from the features on the Apple Watch and how they connect to the phone. Please make sure to click the link and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also visit richclose.com. Here we are, part four. Okay, so now we're into the apps itself. And you can see there are, are many. And I'm going to cherry pick some that I think are beneficial to seniors here. But I, the general population can benefit also. So activity. Let's look at the settings for the activity. Do we want activity notifications? I certainly have that turned on. And for my activity, what do I want my Apple Watch to show me? I want standing reminders. I want daily coaching. I want to know when I hit goals. Tell me about the special challenges. So again, I, I want to keep moving and I want to use my watch to help me do that. Right. And again, I think this is a good thing for seniors. And again, it talks to the iPhone activity app. And again, reports data to the health app. You, you can certainly download new applications for the watch. Um, a lot of the applications I have on the iPhone mirror over to the watch, and, I, and that's where you see them show up here. You can listen to audiobooks through your watch. You can look at calendars, and we'll, let's just open up the calendar app here. So again, you can mirror, or you can make custom. I mirror my iPhone for both of these. I don't want to do adjustments. You can tell the clock, do you want it to be 24-hour time or normal time, 12-hour time, if you will. The sounds that it plays. Do you want it to speak the time to you? You can turn on haptics for certain times. You can have your phone notify your Apple Watch about timers. Again, I have these turned on as you can see. Depending on what watch face you're using, you may see your initials in it. So certainly a, a lot of settings unique to the Apple Watch for the clock on the Apple Watch. And it's a watch, so that maybe makes sense. You can access your contacts through your Apple Watch. So again, a, a new feature that they've added is hand washing. You can have the Apple Watch notify you about hand washing and how long you're washing your hands for. It's kind of obnoxious. I've realized I don't even come close to washing my hands for 20 seconds most of the time. You can turn on hand washing reminders. I don't do that. So again, if you're away from the house, when you come back home, it will remind you to wash your hands. The health app. So again, this connects to your iPhone and you can see I have notifications mirrored on my iPhone. It also mirrors my health notifications from the iPhone. All right, your heart. So again, the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch can monitor some things going on with your heart rate. It can monitor cardio fitness. I have this turned on and it reports back to the health app. It can monitor for irregular rhythms. It can monitor for a high heart rate or a low heart rate. And again, back to the notifications. How do I want them grouped? And you'll see that for every app, right? What notifications and do you want the notifications grouped? The heart app, obviously some features that the Apple Watch certainly makes unique and reports back to the health app and the iPhone for heart rate monitoring. And I, I expect there'll be more along, along those lines. There's been rumors about blood pressure monitoring, for example. I'm gonna skip mail, maps. Um, we'll talk about messages. So again, you can get the message app messages to your watch. I have it mirroring my iPhone. Let's talk about meditation and breathing. This is the mindfulness app on the Apple Watch. And, and again, you can get notifications. You can send them to the notification center, right? Or notifications off, clearly. Do you want to be reminded to breathe and do meditation throughout the day? You can put reminders in to do that. You can also turn it off for the day if you want to. And do your adjustments on for how, how many breaths you want to take in a minute. 
And again, this will prompt you for mindful meditation and breathing. Again, if you have music playing, you can control music on your phone. Again, unique to the Apple Watch, the, the noise monitoring. So you can have it listen to environmental sounds. Is it a loud environment or not a loud environment? Greater than 90 dBs is my threshold, and it reports that out in notifications to me. Okay. You can answer the phone on your watch. If you want to, I have this mirroring my phone. You can have photos show up on your watch and turn that on. Again, some of the screens use photos, so you, you got to sync and connect to photos to make that happen. I'm not going to go through a lot of details there. Controlling podcasts. Again, in the health app, I have sleep turned on, and my watch can notify me on sleep. I actually sleep with my watch on my wrist at night to monitor my sleep activity, and then I charge it during the day. So, again, these are the settings to turn on for that. So, I get a sleep screen. If you turn this on, your screen won't show when you do wrist movements at night. You have to turn the digital crown first to, to help the bright screen from not waking you up, I guess, as the case may be. You can show the time. And I want it to track my sleep patterns and report that to the health app. Clearly, if I'm getting low on battery in sleep mode, I want to know and understand it, right? So again, you, you adjust sleep in the, the sleep options in the health app on your iPhone. And you can say, I don't want to use this watch for sleep. I have it turned on, like I said, and monitor sleep. So all the, the Apple devices have different tips, no, no different for the Apple Watch. So you can go to the tip screen and it will give you notification on tips when they show up for the Apple Watch. So I, I like that. It helps me use it walkie-talkie. You can invoke Apple Wallet and Pay. This probably just mirrors my iPhone, so nope, not. So I have different credit cards showed up in here. So again, I can use my watch to pay with my watch if I don't have my phone handy. Um, and again, it's showing my credit cards that I, I use to do that. Again, with my default transaction details. All right, weather. Again, that shows up in some of your complications and on your watch face. And you can go in and adjust the weather settings to be your default location, which is what I have set up. So it shows me the temperature kind of where I'm at. And this obviously mirrors my iPhone. And then workouts, right? Another nice feature of the Apple Watch. So I bike, I walk, I swim, and I use my Apple Watch to record all of my workouts. You can adjust how it's viewed. It can pause if you stop your workout. It can sense that you're doing a workout. So a lot of times I'll do the elliptical at home and forget to turn it on. And after a few minutes, it prompts me, hey, I noticed you're on the elliptical. Do you want to turn on? It reminds me to end my workout if I do stop, which I do quite often. I forget to turn off the workout on my watch. So a lot of good reminders coming in the Apple Watch. And I have almost everything turned on here. Um, if you listen to music, you can set a default playlist. Like say you, you create a playlist for workouts. I will play that playlist. I tend to not listen to music while I work out. And again, I swim. Um, so I wear my watch to count laps, which is really helpful because I tend to daydream and, and lose track of what laps that I do count. So, all right. And then it shows all the apps that are installed on your phone. I'm not going to get into the details here. The, these are my apps and how they're installed. A lot of times I mirror what goes on with my iPhone. You can turn apps on and off depending on what you use or don't use on your own watch. So, um, and you can see it prompts you for available apps that I have iPhone apps that are installed on my phone. The companies have 
made an Apple Watch app and showed do I want to include those on my Apple Watch or not. Um, so, all right, Apple Watch. Again, for seniors, it's a great device. There's a lot of nice features that it, it adds for health and fitness and monitoring your heart rate for everyone else. Um, I think it's very convenient. I know a lot of people that have switched to the Apple Watch from, from other devices. So, again, I want to thank you for watching my videos as always. Please click the link and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget, go to richclose.com where you can find other iPhone tutorials and a link to my iPhone seminar.